Hi guys, today I'm going to tie a fly for my yearly sea trout trip. Fishing only once or twice a year for sea trout, so I used to keep this fly simple, so even this one. I'm going to tie in a hook TMC 8089 size 6. So here we go. As usual, I'm gonna cover the hook shank with some thread and just to get a good non slippery ground for my tying materials. And I'm not going to ground this one with super glue, just add it a bit here and there on some spots I feel it's important to have some super glue. like here for example. So the first material we're going to use here is familiar from many pike flies. I'm going to use craft fur for the tail part here. Need to see if we can find a decent bundle here. Here we go. You can really cut off a decent bundle here and use a comb to get rid of all these short hair here. They don't add anything but weight on your fly and casting with a 6 or 7 weight line. At least I like to use light flies too. Cut off a bit here and then tie it in on the shank here. Glue is dry so it's just to go ahead. I'm tying the excess on the shank to get a nice body on the fly here. So, some flesh. It's a bit thin, but I hope you can see it here in the camera. We're not gonna use much of it. Just one strand on each side of the fly. It's a flash called crinkle mirror flash in pearl color. You don't see much of it here in the camera, but it really has a bright color, so you can see it in the water much better. I'm gonna cut off the excess here. Like this. So our next material it's called polar chenille and I'm gonna use that to tie a nice body for this fly. At this stage I think we could add some music to this video. here. So it's time for our next material and as you can see it's bucktail. It's also familiar from many many pike flies. At least I use them except from my baitfish pattern on pretty much every pike fly I tie. And I'm gonna use it as 
some kind of a, 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 a can we call it upper wing? I don't know. I hope we can. At least I can. Because I'm gonna tie it only on the upper side of the hook shank. First we're gonna have to measure measure it. it I used to tie it a little bit shorter than the tail so you get a nice taper with flies and here and just tie it in here on the upper side and like this. So, I thought I could add a couple of strands of flash again. And just like with the tail part, I'm gonna add it just one strand on both sides of the fly. The color of this flash is so bright, and I'm planning to fish in clear water, so no much flash is needed here. There we go. So, last material except the eyes. It's a material called Polar Dub and I'm using a black variant of it. There's absolutely nothing spectacular here. Just to tie it in the middle and form a nice head of it. Add a little bit more of it here. Like this. Here we go. As I told you, tie it in in the middle, spread it and bend it backward and here we go. Like this. For some reason I always want eyes on my flies, so um, even on this one. And I um, usually go for some contact glue to attach these eyes. I guess super glue works fine too, but this is my choice and I have done it like this on most of my flies, so it has also worked fine. And of course tie it up in your all favorite color so you won't be disappointed when you're out fishing there. Hi guys!